welcome back folks to my let's play of uh, Battle Brothers on the Switch. In the last left off we were doing some caravan stuff and now we're going to do it again. Because this pays a lot. Where do we got to go? We got to go all the way down there. So uh, let's hop to it shall we? Now these are dangerous because you can get attacked by anything and they could totally wreck you. We have six tier, uh, caravan guards with us. That uh, that will help us a bit. But, like I said, depending on what we get ambushed on, we could totally get destroyed. Hopefully not! But however, if we, uh, if we kill a few things, we could get extra coins too, I believe. And we still need to find roving beasts to kill, too, so we can uh, do our thing up there. So, we'll see what happens. Now, caravan trading is not very, uh, what you call it, um, action-packed sometimes. And you really don't want action-packed. While on the march, you come across a line of stopped wagons. You realize the wagons are are cages with uh, with serving prison to wild animals. Toting the line of carts, you come face with a uh, you come to face a variety of beasts. A hunched and mewling black cat lunges at its man killer claws through the bars. Jumping away, you back into a cage, which violently rattles as a bear roaring. Thankfully, its powerful claws are too far to fit, uh, too fat to fit the the bars. Another cage sizzles with hissing snakes. The man leans back from the behind one of the wagons. He has a wild look on his face, though, and you caught him getting one of his wrists. Hey, who are you? What are you doing here? You inform the stranger that you're uh, captain of the Blood Boars. The man straightens up. Oh, sell swords then. And I thought my luck had run off with me. Look, I got a problem that my hired hand refused to help. They don't care when they don't know better, but the damn cloak fell off the wagon and they just won't shut up about what, uh, how I wasn't paying them enough to transport the goods. What do you need help with? The animal tamer uh, leads you to the carriage. Immediately you see why his hands uh, quit. A frenzy, merciful wild man is sitting inside a cage. Raw wrists bleeding against the shackles, against signs of attempts to escape. Half starved, the wild man gnaws on sticks, poking with a tumbleweed of a beard. Seeing, seeing this is a sad sight, you grab the stranger by the shirt and thumb against the wagon. Does this look like an animal to you? The a animal tamer grins, and uh, I have her teeth. He explains himself. City folks have gotten wind of the uncivilized wild man and wish to see one up close. I'm only fulfilling the demand of any business what man would. Now I need help with that is to get the dead body out of the cage. He punches the corpse in the corner of the cage. The wild man rears back, snarling, going to a perfectly sit on the body. The animal, takes his, animal tamer shakes his head. One of my helpers got too close and well, I can't go into town with a mess there, so I thought you could help me fish it out. I'll pay plenty, of course. A pouch of 250 coins. Sound good? Just reach in there and yank out. Our monk seems a little disturbed by this. Rodman the monk stepped forward, hands clasped, head bowed, the embezzlement of a sermon, the posture of good morals, and mis or misguided ones. He puts, pulled the team aside. The old gods would frown for what you've done here. The animal la la uh, laughs and leans against the, cha uh, the cage, smugly crossing his arms. He states that in the south they consider slavery part of the natural order. The monk continues, true. But, you're, but neither you nor this wild man are kin to their ways of life. You wish to ensnare him by means of being an outsider. He does not understand the relationship which it makes it especially ingrevious and proper. My suggestion is to have him work for you and learn from you. Make him a friend and you will have a friend for life. The imprisoned wild man's hands dart through the bars and dig his fingers into his eyeballs. His flesh rips apart like a loaf of bread. A couple of coat hangers, uh, yeah, coat hangers for the jawbone and tongue 
loll like an uprooted snake. Ramen wound its his face is doused in blood. He gets to the blade, shakes his head. I'd say he'd fit right in with the bladder board. Absolutely disgusting. He's perfect. Outstanding competitive violence and well suited for Mercy Band. You agree to take the imprisoned wild men on. Welcome to the company. While well, the honor chamber is gone with him, and there is no one left to take care of the beasts. I don't know the dog keeper comes up, comes up and asks what should be done with them. Let them out. You feel that it wouldn't be right to leave them there to starve to death, and the cage creatures can have doubt this uh, gaming meat would come and uh, come to harvest. You decide to let them out and their cages. Most of these creatures make a beeline for tree line. Two remain behind, a husky dog and a hooded falcon, both seemingly looking for a master. They both fit right in. Wow. Wow. Okay. You're a wild man. You're getting this, and you're getting a choppa. Um, who's the hound master? You're a hound master. We'll have that as a backup. You, however, will have. What do you do, anyways? Oh, yeah. You will have the the bird. The burb. That was a very fortunate event. We got a wild man to fight with us. We got another war dog. And we got a falcon. Marvelous, I say. Luck has truly been on our side. The gods are watching upon the, blo the blood boar. This is a very good sign. Or maybe it's an ill omen that we just do not know about yet. And we will die soon. Let's hope not! We're about to get a lot of gold. We can get more food. And then we can probably better equip our wild man. Yeah, we had... Other than that uh, encounter, we didn't have really much encounters this time. Alright. We could have slaughtered all the animals, but it was a good thing we didn't. Blackthorn greets you with a swarm of day uh, tailors looking for work. The caravan leader douses out crowns to his men here and there. The grubbly hands go into the carts and unloading carts. When he's finished with uh, with the thongs of men, the leader turns to you and got a sash in his hand. Here you are. This is for you, mercenary. And you take it. A few of the day uh, ta uh, tailors watch the exchange of money like cats with dangling mouse. Nice. Nice. Hmm. What's going on? All well, surprised? Disappearing villagers! A pack of dogs stream down the road, a few children in chase. They scatter past you one by one, the dogs howling and huffing with joy. The children scream out in greetings. A woman walks up, a metal skillet in one hand, a wash rod in the other. Hey there, Cell Sword. I probably should let one of the messenger men find you to tell you this, but I've got news so that so I'll tell you anyhow. Lost Elder's looking for you. She flutters her eyes and smiles back with a nod. Severin smirks. See something he likes her? You tell the man to, get, to go fuck out. <laughs> I'm all ears. <clears throat> Lost uh Joss the Elder turning an apple in his hand seems frustrated with it. Almost as if he wishes there was something else like a value trinket or perhaps a tasteful, tastier fruit. Have you ever lost something you loved? You shrug and answer. There was this girl. The man shakes his head. No, not some woman or important because I have. Thieves stole my lunch, my lockbox. How they managed to do this beyond my guards is, well, beyond me. But I know that if I set you on them, I'll be having what's rightfully mine back where it belongs. Isn't that right? Or have I been misled to the quality of your service? What's this worth to you? He takes a deep breath. Well, this is what I prepared to offer you. You'll be paid 80 crowns in advance and another 330 when the job is done. You'll be paid more than this. Let's get this over with quickly. Here's my new offer. 90 crowns. Yes. Yes. <coughs> 
However, let's camp because I need to get supplies. And then we'll follow the trail. Alright, here we go. We need food. Uh, we need to sort. There we go. Definitely need food. Uh, do we have anything else? Okay. We'll get a shield. And we'll get a bill hook. No, that's too expensive. We'll get a sh spear. Okay. And you will get this. And this. And you will have the dog. So we'll have two dogs that we can let loose. You need a... Helmet. Oh, there's no helmets here. Okay, let's save. Always save. Alright. This must be the... the trail. Let's see if we can find them. There they are! Only seven thieves. And they're running. Get back here, thieves. You actually gonna go into the desert? You sons of bitches. Ah, the thieves are quite human. Simple crew of vagabonds and brigands. They arm themselves as you order your men to attack. Is this all of them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Ooh, I like this song. Missed. Put our shields up. These guys should prove no match for us. But you never know. I'm not going to let loose the dogs. I find letting loose the dogs when uh, you start wrecking people is the best thing to do. If you, you release the dogs too soon, then you'll end up uh, losing your dog faster. with our stuff though. All right, you guys are not going to go forward. So you're going to go forward. No, then you'll hit your own men. good so far. 
My poor uh, guy over there is getting wrecked though. Hurt. Gotta release the dog. Releasing the dog. Me too. Barely alive. Jesus. Come on. <coughs> oh, that was so lucky. We almost lost that dude. He got hurt. <laughs> it was Oto the Dodger. Pierce cheek. Take all that. The battle was done and the lockbox was easy to find amongst the corpses of your enemies. You probably should return it to Joss the Elder for your just reward. Yes. Let's go back before those things that were over here attack us. We're practicing the uh, Olaf approaches you and lets loose the long tail of troubles and squabbles and empty bottles. The four beggars doubt his luck, apparently, and just needs a few extra coins to get by. Alright, here you go. Ten crowns. With how much you've almost died? Yeah, you deserve those ten crowns. Let's get this and then we'll call it a day. Crowns well deserved. And we'll call it here, folks. As always, uh, thank you for come, uh, watching to the end. Uh, subscribe, hit the bell thing thing so it ring rings, and I will see you next time. Hop you later.